Please enjoy this third day of riding on my Portugal's northern coastline and Pineda Gerais National Park cycling tour. This day would be another almost century long ride from the relatively quiet Torreira to the very touristic beachside tourist city of Povoa de Varjim. At approximately the halfway point, I'd go through the major northern city of Porto, which is located on the banks of the Douro River. If you wish to skip over the route trace on the map, just jump to the 1 minute and 41 second mark for the start of the narrated section. Regardless, I hope you enjoy my day's ride continuing up Portugal's Atlantic coastline. This ride had me leave Torreira at the crack of dawn and I was able to ride in very quiet traffic conditions given it was a Sunday morning. In fact, for the first few hours, I think I saw more cyclists out on their training rides than I did cars. As lunchtime approached, I reached the long and busy beachside stretch leading up to the mouth of the Doldru River. There was now a lot of traffic, pedestrians as well as cars but the excellent bike paths made it fairly painless to navigate the chaos. Landed along the south bank of the Douro to the famous Ponte Luis I bridge, and what views!
After crossing it, I made my way back to the coast on the northern side to continue my road up to my day's destination of Pavoa de Varjim. On this stretch, the riding surfaces were quite varied, including nature trails, stretches of sand, wooden boardwalks, as well as very rough cobblestone roads in and around the small beachside villages, which actually resulted in Matilda breaking a couple of spokes on her back rim, but luckily not resulting in any warping. While it had been a rather excellent day of riding, I was running very low on fuel once I reached Pavor, and the only thing I had on my mind on arrival was to get me a shit ton of pizza and beer. So, once Matilda was set up for her rest at the hostel, I walked a few kilometres to my favourite refueling station, Mr Pizza, and boy did it totally hit the spot. Now, with a belly full of goodness, I slowly strolled back to my hostel along the beachside boulevard as I enjoyed a wonderful prolonged sunset over the Atlantic. It allowed me the perfect moment to reflect on not only the fantastic first three days of this current tour, but also on all the amazing places and experiences that still lay ahead of me, not just in northern Portugal, but also in future years over the ocean's horizon. The horizon far. All that lays ahead still hides. One day, I will see beyond my eyes. <laughs>